Let's keep it going. Something I'm not used to uh, from such a low difficulty is that it doesn't look like these folks have fully colonized their own land yet. But they do appear to have considerable chunks of land so that they could blossom into power on higher difficulty levels. Which is or would be a point of concern if I were playing at a higher difficulty level. But as it stands, I'm the one who's fleshed out his continent first. And uh, I will cram a total of 21 cities here. There's probably room for another somewhere along the way. If I really wanted to fit another, but even that, like, this is pushing it. Like, that doesn't give me anything but this mine. We'll probably just keep things at a cool 20 cities. Yeah, that'll probably be what we do. We'll see, though. Let's see. If I crank research up to 100%, who's our greatest research earners? That's not a surprise. Okay. Everyone who is in the 20s, I want you to eventually build this observatory. Of course, that'll happen here later. That can happen here after the harbor. No, no, it's reorganized everything already. Right, there's a granary here. We'll get that built first. I'm a nice guy. I'll let the people eat, I guess. Working a spy? Hmm. Sure. No way Mansa Musa can compete with the weight of all of my courthouses pressing down on him. Espionage-wise. Probably even spread the love here. Yeah. Cheap courthouses. Oh, here we go. Here's Augustus Caesar. How's it going, man? Don't want to start trading away those technologies just yet. Now, we can actually start making resource deals with people. Which I would not mind doing, because I grabbed astronomy. You've got a banana in here for me. Uh, I'll give you a bit of gold. I typically don't like trading away health resources to the AIs. On higher difficulties, Napoleon, for example, will over-industrialize and starve himself out. They can typically find ways to be happy pretty easily, though. Okay. Let's execute some trading with Hannibal. You don't have iron, huh? Hmm. Well, I don't care whether I give you iron. Nah. My dog is very excited over something that's transpiring outside. Well, if we ever had any unhappiness problems in our cities, those are resolved. So you guys can go back to growing now, I guess. And I want... What is it? One or two more archers? Is it just one more? Looks like it's just one more. Yeah. Great. Then you can build that. Then you can go to the wealth. Also, give me a moment. The most exciting yell at dog action that you can ever find anywhere on YouTube. Get in this house. Get in here. Doing very important things on the internet. Professionalism at its finest. As I was saying, Archer Observatory. Wealth. 
Mansa Musa going after literature. He's gonna presumably pick up the uh, Great Lighthouse. <laughs> Let's try that sentence again. He's presumably gonna pick up the Great Library. Something like that can uh, help you uh, make up for any technological gulf that ends up occurring. All right. Hinduism ends up spreading to this city through the magic of astronomy. Great. It's not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but it happened. And Hinduism is the AP religion. So I can build Hindu monasteries and if I had priesthood, I could build Hindu temples and get hammers that way. Hmm. It's scientific method that obsoletes monasteries. Silly Gourmet, not astronomy. It has been a while since I have <laughs> really sunk my teeth into this game. I said that dumb thing last video now. Ah! Mistakes? I cannot live without books. Perhaps I will just allow Mansa Musa to build all these sweet, delicious wonders for me, and then I will take them. Looks like the world's round to me. Went about it in a crazy fashion, but looks like a round world. All right. Kill research for the time being. We have so much happiness in our cities now. It's... It's beautiful. Nah, I don't see the need to trade a world map. I'm gonna keep you folks isolated from each other. You're damn right I proved the world's around. Some amazing. We'll even get another caravel out there. Hopefully, my uh, automated explorers will uh, catch the sight of better cities for us to trade with. Yeah. And we're the one who gets all the value from this, too. The other AIs, they don't have astronomy, so they can't trade. And Samusa might even now be going for the Sistine Chapel. Okay. Do I care to go for guilds? I could probably just attack him with knights, huh? What does he have in his cities? Skirmishers? <laughs> I could attack him with anything. Yeah, we could attack him with knights. Do I even bother to go for education? We'll go for education and philosophy. Guilds. Gunpowder. Working our way towards... Rifles. Maybe. I'll probably break that at some point. Forge here. Uh, give me a... Granary now. Population growth will put me close to the domination limit. <laughs> well, that might be true. Uh... I do not control enough land area to win that way. Chicken pizza got built. All this stuff being stacked in Timbuktu. Mali, uh, Manza Musa is definitely a wonder whore, and that's very much shining. Rome has the Great Lighthouse. At least Manza Musa didn't get it. Woof. Okay. We'll save a bit more cash. Let some uh, observatories finish up. Okay. 
Okay. That's great with me. Churchill will trade construction. That's very useful to know. Folks actually trading stuff with Grimoth. Hooray. I don't mind letting go of metal casting here. Construction 420, metal casting is 540. I'm gonna give a code of laws though. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias. Hey, Toku. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Not a surprise that Toku's very far behind. He doesn't have. Well, he is next to Hannibal, apparently. Uh, Toku doesn't do that great with research. And, uh, he's not very good at sharing and talking with others in a nice, kind fashion. Yeah, it looks like Mansa Musa just had his own piece of land to himself. We got stuck with Napoleon. I think that's everyone on the board. Yeah, this is a small map. We met everyone. Neat. Got our sweet, delicious 20 cities. Just our garrison military alone is stronger than that of some. <laughs> And by some, I mean everyone. These are the people I'll choose to focus on. How are you looking tech-wise, Augustus? Not too bad. I probably should focus more on... Um... No, I'll keep my eyes on Churchill. Okay, that's done here. Why don't we get a harbor next? Good. That should be all of my cities with Confucianism in them? No. Bremen, Dresden, and Bonn. <laughs> I'm three off. <laughs> Bremen, Dresden. That was not Bonn. Was Bonn over there? Bonn was over there. Okay. Education? Oh, that's beautiful. 396 beakers per turn now. Crushed. <sighs> sure. Mansabusa going for that religious victory. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up picking up Hinduism, though. So, there is that. So he's got someone to be his bro with in the AP. And he's the only one running Hinduism, so he's the only legal target to vote for. If I go to members, yeah. It's him and me. Good work. He's like, you know what? Maybe you're not such a bad guy after all. You voted for me. I'm like, yeah, I'm not such a bad guy after all. Look at that. We can be friends. Do I want to trade you anything? Nope. Thought about him. Nah. He's got techs on me, but if I'm gonna go kill him... I don't want to share him anything. Except for stuff that wouldn't help him military. Until, like, right before I'm about to attack him. That's not a surprise. That's later than what I'm expecting, but yeah, he's grabbing feudalism. That was only a matter of time. We'll need guilds eventually anyway. Uh, if I attack with rifles, I don't have to worry about building siege units. Or if I attack with cavalry. We're a seers even. It's pretty nice. We can punish longbows pretty damn well. No rush to attack, though. I'm, I'm living comfortably here with my 20 cities. As has been noted before. Just enjoying our lives. Uh, you got a worker out here for me? You're building a windmill? Well, I need to borrow you. Oh. It's already spread here. Whoops. <laughs> Silly Grimoth not directing the, uh... Okay. Or maybe I got an auto spread. He might just sit around doing nothing then. Oh well. 
There is no wealth like knowledge, no poverty like ignorance. Go ahead and grab that lighthouse, I suppose. Yeah, we love the monarch. It's a great day for the monarch. City are just continuing to mushroom in population. Good. Great library is built. Mansa Musa got it, I'm sure. He sure did. Mansa Musa, the wonder whore of Timbuktu. Well, he's got stone there that's helped him build some of those wonders. Uh, we could scoop up a few gold per turn. By selling some stuff. If I were so inclined. Once you've met the AI, don't... Don't be afraid to, like, visit them regularly. And scoop up money in exchange for things. Like, that extra gold per turn can be meaningful for you. You know, it could make a difference. But don't be afraid to, like, scoop up things like that. Yeah, we'll take your world map. I actually probably should buy all these folks' world maps. So that I can know where their stuff is, so that we can trade with it better. That's a good point. Nah, you don't like me enough for that. Mansa, do you like me enough to sell me a world map? You do. Great. Now I know all the sordid details of your empire. I could actually settle a city. Probably should have done this sooner. Give me a settler right now. Give me a galleon. Twelve turns? Ugh. Four turns. Yeah, we can do four turns. Maybe five. Okay, five turns. I have gained this by philosophy that I do without being commanded. That's nice. What other no, I'm good. The old ways are best. Give me a lighthouse there. Harbor's done. I guess you can give me a lighthouse here, too. Follow that up with a harbor for extra value in our trade routes. Okay. Ooh! Popped gold! Nice! Grassland Hill Gold. Nice pop. These are the times where I'm like, ah, I wish I could just <laughs> whip that galleon out. Don't know why I didn't do it sooner. What do I care more about? Does he have iron? Yeah, he's got iron. I was thinking about maybe denying that source of iron to him. Something like... I like here, is where I want to settle. I will to my lord be There's feudalism for me. And love all which he loves, and shun all which he shuns. Okay, lighthouse is built. I suppose you can go into a library. I was hoping that Mansa Musa would spend more time building wonders. You know, he'd be a Parthenon too. <laughs> All manners of dumb things. Yes, just spend your time building wonders. Good, good. Augustus got the Colossus. We're up to 513 beakers per turn now. Very nice. As all 20 cities are just 
blossoming to life. I don't think this city needs a granary. It doesn't need much help growing. It's got a lot of a lot of growth happening there. And Sabusa dots vassalage. Now I could still attack with knights, because he's not gonna have that much of an army. Because it's noble difficulty and it's Mansa Musa. Yeah, we can do knights. Gotta have some fun in life. Nah, I'm good. People of the same trade seldom meet together, even for merriment and diversion, but the conversation ends in a conspiracy against the public. Banking wouldn't be so bad. Uh, I don't have interest in adopting mercantilism, uh, even though I am the strongest force, and so mercantilism would hurt the others more than it hurt me, except they don't have astronomy yet. So I'm the one who's scooping all of the pure, like, I'm reaping the benefits from all these sweet, delicious trade routes. Okay, uh, build well for now. Okay. Three or four religions on his various cities. Like, Japan and Carthage don't even have a religion. I could ferry over a... The things I think of. You're over there, huh? Where exactly over here? Now, I'm pretty sure caravels can haul... Um, missionaries? Is that right? Yeah. Where's one of my caravels at? Where's the closest one? Let's look on the map again. Caravel. All three of them that I have, apparently. None of them are anywhere close. You technically qualify as the closest. Head here, I guess. And we'll direct that missionary to move over here. All right. We'll go one more turn. Maybe another after that. Are more dangerous than standing armies. I'll take economics. Granary is built here. We can follow that up with a... I guess a library. Sure. Yeah, I'm not losing a whole lot of gold per turn. Hi, galleys. Oh, Churchill got the Parthenon. Neat. I don't want to build that there. I don't even care about you galleys. <laughs> Whatever. Something I did want these cities to do, and this is where I'm going to start losing more gold per turn. Uh, cancel. Well, we'll figure it out. If you don't have a barracks, build a barracks. If you do have a barracks, give me, like, some knights. And give me a round of crossbows. Dagged as like garrisons for our new world that we're going to take over there. Why wait too long? We can kill him. Let's go kill him. Take his stuff. And Samusa is such a danger. You know, despite only having eight cities. You know, he still had he had a few techs that we didn't have, but of course then we went up to five hundred and fifteen beakers per turn. You still got some stuff. Just not gonna rely on him for things, though. I actually want to grab engineering instead of economics, so I will. 
but the ramifications of what I do will be for another time. Next episode, I settle another city. I station some troops over here. I probably bring a worker over too. And then we go kill him. It'll be great. Fun for the whole family. More fun than you can shake a stick at, for sure. Our cities are continuing to blossom. It's not the best, like, worker. Not the best, like, citizen placement, rather. They're not working the best specialists. They're working a bunch of garbage tile, these two food, two commerce things. But we got so many cities, it's okay. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.